Welcome to the last Sweet Tooth Thursday of Veda 2015. Somebody posted a comment in a previous video, I don't remember who it was, I'm too lazy to go look it up, but please feel free to take credit down in the comments below. They said that I should review one of the most iconic Japanese candies there is. And I realized that yeah, I really really should because I haven't done them yet. If you have watched the most sad and depressing anime movie ever to be made, Grave of the Fireflies, Hotaru no Haka, then you already know Takuma Dropsu. These are classic fruit hard candies, which you know, generally I don't really care for anymore, but these are so iconic that I have to review them. I have had them before. For years, they came in a tin that had a picture of the little girl from Grave of the Fireflies on it holding up a tin of the candy. Even years after that movie was finished, it still had that character. And the last time I saw it in the stores, it still had the character. That's a few years ago. I mean, not that they weren't in the stores, I just didn't look for them. But recently when I decided to go looking for them, I found that they have gone to this rather plain, possibly classic looking tin. I don't know if this is what they looked like before they used the character or not, but they've taken her off. Probably a lot of younger Japanese people don't get the reference. I don't know how many young people actually watch Grave of the Fireflies anymore. Thank you. Mwah. Gotta do the foot, huh? My feet. More feet. Aww. Or maybe they just didn't want the really depressing aspect of that movie anymore because she dies. Sorry if I was any spoilers. I hate giving spoilers, but if you haven't seen the movie, I don't know if I can recommend it. It's a movie that most people can only sit through once normal people that is. I knew a guy in university who did all his exams and was so stressed out he said he sat down in front of the Grave of the Fireflies and laughed the whole way through it. It's not a normal person. So now they don't have the Grave of the Fireflies reference anymore, but it's just it's time to get into the candies, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm gonna give you one. You're still kind of young. I'm afraid of you choking on these things. Well, we'll see. Maybe I'll bite a piece off for you. Peel the seal off. If it's been tampered with, you know, because kanji appear on the sticker and kanji appeal on uh, appeal appear on the can. You do not see many candies. Actually, I can't think of any candies except Sakuma Drops that still come in a tin like this. And the lid, oh man, I don't even know if I can get this lid off without a, without a screwdriver or something. Pry it up. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, I think I got it. Uh, maybe there's a reason more candies don't come like this. It smells very fruity. You want to smell? It's got like what? Apples and melon and pineapple and oranges and strawberries and that could be cherry and something orange. Could be grapefruit on the picture, but I really don't know what flavor is what and I'm just gonna take the first thing that comes out. Probably strawberry. Pink? Yeah, I'll give you a piece, okay? One sec. Oh. Yep, yeah, it's strawberry. It's sweet and strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberry? Good, yeah. Do you like strawberry? Strawberry. Strawberry, okay, yeah. It's gonna take me a while to get through that one. I don't generally eat hard candies anymore. I've gotten kind of tired of them, but you know, these are good. These are delicious. And this is one that I can guarantee you, if you go to an import store that has any Asian stuff, it will be there. The first time I bought this stuff was in Canada, in a store downtown in the city I was going to university in. I don't even know how long they have been in production. I mean, I could have looked it up, but like I said, I'm lazy. They must be going old style. I can't even find a website. No. Yeah. It's scary. It smells really good. Let's try one more, okay? I still got the strawberry in my mouth, but maybe I'll make a fruit cocktail. It's kind of bluish. What flavor do you think this one is, Nina? It's yeah flavor? Okay, let me give you a piece. I'm gonna rake my teeth. There you go. Um, what flavor is that? It is, it is, it is blue. So that's supposed to be, it is green, I know, but it's blue, what is that flavor? The blue and the red together are pretty nice. Mm. No surprises here it is a classic fruit flavored hard candy. It's delicious. It's like a taste of Japanese candy history. You know what? I, okay, I am I am gonna go look it up on probably Wikipedia. One second. Here, Nina, you entertain everyone. Okay, thank you Wikipedia. These have been in production since 1908, so 107 years. Like I said, Japanese candy history. And they're flavored with real fruit juice, so this is one if you've got any kind of import store at all like that you will be able to find there. You should. If, it does, if, if the import store doesn't have it, I will be really shocked. Even me, who doesn't really care for hard candy anymore, I like this. You like this? You like this? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.